Our next award recipient really needs no introduction. Um, in the short time I've been here at the Southwest PGA, I've quickly learned that uh, Joe Shershinovich is truly a who's who in golf, and particularly with the Southwest Section PGA. Joe Shershinovich, PGA G Director of Golf at Greyhawk Golf Club, is the recipient of the Merchandiser of the Year for Public Facilities. At Greyhawk, since its opening in 1994, Joe was involved in the creation of the Greyhawk Golf and Trading Company, a 3,000 square foot golf shop that has been named as one of America's best 100 golf shops by Association of Golf. One of the most successful in initiatives undertaken by Joe was to expand group retail sales by replacing concept stores sourced by a third party with in-house driven concept stores. Joe has been honored with numerous awards throughout his illustrious Southwest PGA career, including the 1994 National PGA Merchandiser of the Year for Public Facilities. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our Southwest PGA Merchandiser of the Year for Public Facilities, Mr. Joe Shershinovich. Greyhawk's known throughout the country as one of the best facilities. The golf shop is, you know, it's, you've been there since the beginning. The golf course was there before the golf shop, so talk a little bit about, you know, did you have any, any input in, in the space and, and designing the golf shop? Yeah, so I moved here in 1985. I worked for Roger Maxwell, who was great to see him tonight. And by the way, thanks for hosting us tonight. Paradise Valley Country Club's a very special it's place. Our pleasure. Uh, our pleasure. Roger and the crowd. Roger was, one of the things I inherited from Roger is we had a charge account here at Paradise Valley Country Club, so it was wow. nice to come over here and buy lunches, so thank you, Roger. But when uh, Del Cochran and Greg Trias, when the opportunity came up for Greyhawk, we always dreamed at Camelback about having a tournament or having a PGA tournament, I think a lot of facilities do. They made dreams come true. You could sit there and they said, we're gonna build a place for championships. And they came right out of the box with the Anderson Consulting World Championship. And it wasn't just golf tournaments, it was experiences for customers. It was retail, it was food and beverage, it was community awareness. It was uh, having a community that had hospitals, had YMCAs, had schools, had everything. So the merchandise component of that facility was as important as anything because to me, the merchandise that we, I learned from Roger and Terry McCoy back at Seaview was a great part of the whole golf experience. So to me, that was something that was cool and we got involved on in creating that, so it was really neat. Well, it's incredible up there. You've got many facilities, I mean, you've got two restaurants, one across the street, yep. everything. So you've got a lot going on and, and the rounds of golf. How many rounds do you do a year? We do in the high 70s, low 80,000 rounds of golf, and, and we wow. do a significant food and beverage business and with that community, which is why we called it the Golf and Trading Company, you've got more than just golfers coming in. We wanted it to be different, so. So the, the top 100, I mean, most people probably don't know the top 100 golf shops in America. That's an award that's given, given out every year. You've been, you've, had, you've been given that award since 1996, every year since 1996. You've received that award. Your golf shop has been in the top 100. Is that something you strive to do every year? Or is it just part of what happens because of your philosophy? You know, uh, we just work hard every day. We've got a talented team. We have a Greyhawk family. That's what we call it. We have a Greyhawk University where we have young professionals go through the retail discipline as much as they go through anything. We have an incredible director of retail, Kelly Azama, who's here tonight. Uh, I know Kelly. So. Yep, she's, she, thank you. She joined our team in 1998, why I don't know, but uh, <laughs> so, she's so smart. you she's work hard smart. every day, you wanna be on the edge, you're in Scottsdale, Arizona. Arizona golf is as competitive as any market in the country. There's a right. lot of unbelievable golf shops in this market. You wanna just be staying up with your competition. Kelly helps us do that. We support her. We support her team. She goes to shows all over the country. We talk to everybody. Rob Stoffelt's at our table. Sure. Pat on the back to all the sales reps. They want this market to be good. So it's a collaboration amongst everybody to be the best. And so to be awarded by your peers is the ultimate uh, sure. award. That, that's awesome. And I know Kelly. She does a great job. I send my merchandise up there to steal some of her, her, some of her stuff all the time. Nobody works harder. Yeah. Uh, so talk about that, teamwork. 
your staff, assembling your staff and getting, getting them more involved in merchandising. It's, it's an incredible operation, so I'm sure that they're all involved in some capacity. We have to have them involved. We believe in it. And uh, as I'm sure everybody's going through the staffing with the millennials, it's getting them to commit to this, to this profession, to this degree. We're old school in the sense we want them to go through the retail discipline. Right. It's incredible. I mean, the ordering, at least when I grew up, I loved clothes. Ordering it was fun. Checking it in wasn't fun. Unpacking it wasn't fun. Yep. You know, steaming it wasn't fun. And then when you had the returns and all that wasn't fun. But that's part of the retail cycle. But we've got a great graduate class that have moved on to directors of golf, head pros, all over the country, and they'll come back to Greyhawk. We have one of our, our original head pro, Wes Marshall, will be coming in from Indiana tomorrow to show his eight members. This is where he started, this is the shop, and they're proud of that, and, and that's sure. really cool. So. Yeah, you're, you're a terrific mentor. I, I know I, I do the same thing as my merchandiser does. I steal some of, some of your stuff, so I appreciate Great. that from you. <laughs> um, you know, you, you, being, being merchandiser of the year in, in 1997, for Nash, the National Merchandiser of the Year. You know, talk about 20 years later receiving this award, what that means to you. Well, in 1997, we were fortunate to win the National Merchandiser of the Year. And when you stand up with a guy like Bob Ford and you're in that class, right. and Bob Ford has one of the great lines of, it's important, uh, it's, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And that's something that has always stuck with me. Class of our association. But I think back on the 20 years, this is the most important award. I don't think we've worked any, I think we've worked the hardest for it. I reflect on my wife, Carol, who's here tonight. We've raised three kids. Kelly's been there 20 years. Dell's still there. Travis has been there most of the time. I, I can pat ourselves on the back that most of our staff in the food and beverage and maintenance, we're all still there. We're a team, we're a family. We, you can't do this by yourself. This is a facility award. That's what means most important to me. To win this award this year is a testament to Gray, the Greyhawk family, so we appreciate it. Well, we, we as PGA members, we all look up to guys like you. And I know that my staff has a great deal of respect for you and your facility and, and Kelly and what she does, so congratulations. Well, we appreciate it. We've done a, a great job, especially on the ladies' apparel, and we really appreciate Dick Highland's members all coming over and buying <laughs> all the merchandise as well. So anyway, thank you. Joe, congratulations.